I'm Jacob Soberoff for KCET.org at Navitat Canopy Adventures uh, in Wrightwood, California. I'm about to go on a zip line that's 1,100 feet long, 306 feet off the ground, and I may hit 55 miles an hour. See you later. Hi guys, so welcome to Navitat Canopy Adventures. My name is Joel and this is Sean. Uh, we're going to be your guide today. Uh, I'm going to let you guys know what you got yourselves into. Uh, you guys will be going on 10 different zip lines, 3 different rappels, 3 different sky bridges, and a brand new set of sky stairs. You guys are going to be at heights range from 10 to 300 feet up in the air, going to speeds of 20 to possibly 55 miles an hour. Surprisingly pleasant weather, but as you can see, there's snow all around us, and uh, I am definitely super freaked out. <laughs> so, uh, so we just drove about a hundred, a thousand feet in elevation, and we're now at ground school, which is where we're going to get the lay of the land. And if I totally wimp out, uh, I have the opportunity to turn back. But I'll try my best not to do that. Here we go. Awesome. Here so we are. This one doesn't look too bad. These are kind of all our first three. They're all really short, really sweet. Cool. Just to break in, kind of our bunny hill I'll, zip lines. I'll definitely take that opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm about to teach you guys the basics of what you're going to be doing today. And as you go along, you're going to be getting more and more comfortable, but I want you guys to demonstrate throughout the day that you can zip properly the way we teach you from the get-go. We either want your legs to be out in front of you crossed, or if you guys are feeling a little bit more need for speed, you can tuck your legs up into your chest and do a cannonball. And what that's going to do is it's going to make you more aerodynamic, so it's going to make you go a lot faster. <laughs> All right, you can load up, take off. Cool. Awesome. Nice. Oh, <laughs> you calling for mommy yet? Yeah, almost. <laughs> What's the range in speed that we'll be going today? Uh, on the next few lines, we'll probably get up to 20, 30, but we could hit 55 on our bigger lines today. Whoa. All right. All right. You're all set, man. Ready to go. <sighs> Awesome job. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our first rappel. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna have your hands, left hand up top, right hand by your butt. Mm -hmm. You're gonna slowly sit down into your harness and then you're gonna slowly travel on out, okay? Okay. And then once you wanna start your descent, just open up those hands, down you're gonna go. Nice. Fully sit down in that harness. There you go. And it's gonna roll out for you. Good job. Did you bring your hand down? There you are. Open up that grip. Pretty easy, huh? Pretty amazing. <laughs> when you guys do this with multiple people, do, are there more than one person on this at a time? Yeah, we'll have uh, the max you can have on it is uh, five. Yeah. Ready? Ready. Cool. Oh. Wow. Oh, my eyes are watering. <laughs> it's a tear jerk. Woo! I'm crying. That was crazy. I can't describe the experience, the feeling of going across. You are literally flying, and things are so close to you. When you're going through, you see the rocks, you see trees pass by. You don't feel like you're going. How fast do you think we're going, Joel? Probably 50 on that one today. 55. So, yeah, so 50 or 55 miles an hour, but you really. I'm looking at the zip line, you're flying, it just feels, it's just an incredible feeling. Wow. You said we left from the, about the lowest point possible on that tree, and yeah. on this tree, after the 1,100 foot ride, we're at about the highest point we can be. So how high is that? 
Um, we're probably about 65 to 70 feet off the ground off of this side of the platform. Yeah. And about, if you look off that side of the platform, we're probably about 45 to 50 feet off the ground. It's a bit huge slope on these on Oh, these yeah. I would, around in this area, it's probably about 55 to 60% grades. You guys can probably see we're feeling a little bit of wind right now. Tell me about the winds that come through up here and why. As the Santa Ana winds are blowing up here, it's basically just getting funneled <laughs> right into our course, so we get some really extreme winds up here. Let's give it a go. Let off that brake, let off that brake. All right, so just put on your parking brake. There you go. So, Joel, just tell me, uh, why don't you explain for everybody out there what just happened? Well, uh, it's kind of part of the tour. It's kind of why we debrief you before we put you on the tour. Sometimes people come up a little bit short. Uh, the reason you came up short on that one was just there was a headwind, just the inopportune time for there to be a headwind, and it could definitely slow you down out there. So if we go to the instant replay, <laughs> give us a play-by-play -play of what happened. Play-by-play, um, -by -play, you come up a little bit short, you're kind of looking at me all bug-eyed a little bit, <laughs> and then I'm just like, all right, man, just put on your parking brake, do a 180, you're going to be fine, turn around, just hand over hand, pull yourself in, you did a good job. Sure enough. On to the next thing, repelling, take two. Oh, yeah. Oh just yeah. Let go of that rope now. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I just love this area because we got these giant trees. I mean, it's incredible. And how high are up? Are we? Do you think? Uh, you know, probably still around that like 45. Oh really? It feels higher. No, this is cool. I love. I love this. Hey, made it. All right, so I'm about to get on this footbridge that it looks like it's about the length of a football field. At its highest point, it's 146 feet off the ground. I'm just going to do it. Here we go. These trees just look incredible. When you're up here next to the tree like this, yeah. it's unbelievable. If you actually look down there, you can see our shadows while we're walking. Check it out. What happened to a tree like this that like clearly fell over? Avalanche, possibly? Or? Um, avalanche, it could have been... Once again, struck by lightning. Yeah. Could have been uprooted. So, can't believe there's so much lightning up here. That's crazy. There's a lot of wind. This is actually called Lightning Ridge. This is? This ridge right up here. Wow. This ridge line. And you can definitely, you can, there's tons of evidence of lightning strikes around here. See you, fellas. Woo! <sighs> nice. Oh, yeah. Good work. That was a good one. Yeah, nice and quick. Felt that cool breeze at the end there. <laughs> this is the last sip of the day up here at Navitac Canopy Adventures in the mountains of Wrightwood here in California. I'm Jacob Soberoff for KCET.org. See you guys soon. Go for it. Let me you see how this works. Yeah. Goes. All right. Here we go. Whoa. Whoa. Uh. <laughs> ah! Stand on up. Whoa. All right. <laughs> yeah. See, not too bad, right? Oh man, it's the jump. It's the actual jump. It's freak show. Whoa.